you were under my roof, Anne. Why, of course, if you want me to, assented Anne cheerfully. I'd do anything to oblige you. But you'll have to tell me what to say for this once. After I get into bed, I'll imagine out a real nice prayer to say always. I believe that it will be quite interesting now that I come to think of it. You must kneel down, said Marilla in embarrassment. Anne knelt at Marilla's knee and looked up gravely. Why must people kneel down to pray? If I really wanted to pray, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd go out into the great big field, all alone, into the deep, deep woods, and I'd look up into the sky, up, 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 into the lovely blue sky that looks as if there was no end to its blueness. And then I'd just feel Well, I'm ready. You're old enough to pray for yourself, Anne, she said finally. Just thank God for your blessings and ask him humbly for the things you want. Well, I'll do my best, promised Anne, bearing her face on Rose's lap. Gracious Heavenly Father, that's the way the ministers say it in church, so I suppose it's all right in a private prayer, isn't it? She interjected, lifting her head for a moment. Gracious Heavenly Father, I thank thee for the white weird light and the lake of shining waters and Bonnie and the Snow Queen. I'm really extremely grateful for them. And that's all the blessings I can think of right now to thank thee for. As for the things I want, they're so numerous it would take a great deal of time to name them all. So I will only name the two most important. Please let me stay at Green Gables and please let me be good looking when I grow up. I remain yours respectfully and surely. There, did I do it all right? She asked eagerly, getting up. I could have made it much more flowery if I just had a little more time to think it over. Poor Marilla was only preserved from complete collapse by remembering that it was not irreverence, but simply spiritual ignorance on the part of Anne that was responsible for this extraordinary petition. She tucked the child from bed, mentally bound that she should be taught to pray the very next day and was leaving the room with the light when Anne called her back. I've just thought of it now. I should have said, Amen, in place of yours respectfully, shouldn't I? The way the ministers do. I'd forgotten it, but I thought the prayer should be finished of itself, so I put it in the other. Do you suppose it will make any difference? I don't suppose it will, said Marilla. Go to sleep now, like a good child. <laughs>